Now, before we get started today, I need you guys to hit that like button. It helps the algorithm on this channel. And I'm the underdog, and we're trying to make a big splash on this channel. So hit that like button. Also, comment and subscribe if you haven't. But let's get straight to it. So today, we got Young Thug and Gunner in the building. This right here is some nasty, crazy work. It seems like Young Thug is actually bullying Gunner at this point. Now, we all understand that Gunner did take a little plea deal and he did admit that YSL was actually a game. He stated after each statement whether or not you agree or acknowledge that the statements are true, okay? Yes, ma'am. I became affiliated with YSL around 2016. Is that true as it pertains to you, Mr. Kitchens? Yes, ma'am. YSL is a music label and a game. So it seems like Young Thug has actually has a problem with Gunner after Gunner accepted this plea deal. But the crazy part about it is a lot of other YSL members accepted this same plea agreement, even Young Thug's brother, Unfo. Now, Young Thug recently got out of jail and he had this to say when he met fellow Atlanta rapper T.I. Hey man, what you got to tell these people? <laughs> you feel me? You did. Hey man, ain't no motherfucker, ain't no cap in it. No cap in my rap. Right? You feel what I'm saying? The right way. It's time. The right way, bro. You feel what I'm saying? The right way. Yeah, that way. Yeah. And go tell that. Now a lot of fans were speculating after T.I. said, now go tell that, like he was talking to Gunner. But the crazy thing about it is Young Thug's lawyer. He even talked to the judge about letting Young Thug work with Gunner. So we was thinking maybe everything was cool, calm, and collective. But it doesn't seem like it's that way. Because Young Thug, he just posted this on his social media account. Young Thug said, Gunner, stop acting like we friends on the internet. I don't know you, my guy. So after Young Thug did that, we was like, wow. So these guys are really not cool anymore. So Young Thug is actually standing on what he believe in. Now Gunner Brother, he had this in response to Young Thugs. He said, trust and believe. The feeling is mutual, P. So I guess this is the same way Gunner is feeling. But the fans only remember Gunner saying that everything was cool between him and Young Thug. But I did find it a little odd that since Young Thug has been home, Gunner hasn't tweeted anything or made any kind of social media post about Young Thug being home. Now, me personally, I do believe that Young Thug is going to pick and choose who to go after. Because like I said, his brother took the same plea deal and a lot of other YSL members took the plea deal. Now, we have yet to hear him say anything about Lil Woody or any other of the co-defendants. But I guess time will tell and Young Thug is just ready to get back to work. Hopefully, him and Gunner can actually hash their differences and continue making music because I know a lot of fans are upset about what's going on in this situation. Now, we can only sit back and observe because we're not in Young Thug's head and we don't know the bond that him and Gunner really have toward each other personally. But I will read some of the comments of the fans. I've said this before. Gunner should have never took that plea deal. He was going to get released like two months later. They literally had nothing on him. I generally don't understand why he took it. They just wanted someone to admit YSL was a game. Shaking my head. Laugh out loud. But Thug Father said he reached out to T.I. while in there. He dubbed him and taking photo ops when he returned. But Gunner kept the lights on and he gets denounced. Drake gave him a milli. What gonna give them besides an indictment? So as you guys can see, some of these fans have mixed emotions. Some of them feel like 
Young Thug is wrong for the way he's doing Gunna. And others feel like Gunna deserves what he gets from Young Thug from admitting that YSL was actually a gang. You guys, drop it in the comments and let me know what do you think. But until next time, let me get the hell up out of here with my little channel.